Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to create this fine mermaid pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, you can join me over on my Patreon page. When you uh, sign up to be a patron, you can access all the design files from my U tutorials. I appreciate your support for this channel. To start off with, we are going to create a new document. So we're going to go new file. I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent. We're going to go ahead and click on create. Uh, to start off with, I'm going to uh, just hit D on the keyboard to get my default colors here. And then we are going to access the ellipse tool. So I'm going to go... The keyboard shortcut is U, and then you could always hit Shift U if you need to toggle between it. You could always right click to access the ellipse tool here. And then I'm just going to uh, select on the canvas, and then we are going to create a circle the size of our canvas. So we're going to go 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. And then I'm going to use one of my Photoshop actions here to uh, center the object on the canvas. If you join me on Patreon, you can get access to these Photoshop actions that I use for pattern design. I'll also leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can purchase them there as well. With this ellipse tool, I'm going to make a duplicate. So I'm going to go Command or Control J. With this top layer, I'm going to click on this action for four corners, which is going to duplicate it in the four corners. With this center circle, I'm going to add change the color to white so we can see it. I'm going to go ahead and select the top circles here. So we have click and then command click. And then I'm going to drag it below the white circle here, deleting this extra circle here. With these top circles here, I'm going to right click and then just click on merge shapes. And then we're also going to go ahead and just rasterize those layers here. With this white ellipse here, I'm going to command click, which it will select the outline of that circle here. And then on this bottom layer here, I'm going to access my marquee tool by hitting M on the keyboard, the tool here, and then I'm going to go right click, layer via cut, and that is just going to cut out that area of the circle. So this new layer here, we can go ahead and delete it here. And then we can go ahead and turn off this white layer and we have our uh, transparent pixels here and then we can go ahead and define this pattern. So to do that you can go to edit, define pattern or I have a Photoshop action which allows me to just click on the button and then here in the patterns panel I can see my newly created action here. If you don't see your patterns panel you can go to windows and select patterns. Let's go ahead and test out this pattern in a new document. So we're going to go to File, New. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background content set to transparent. And then just click on Create. Moving back to my Move tool here, V on the keyboard. And then I'm going to use a, another action here, Pattern Test, which basically brings up a color fill layer and our pattern fill layer. I'm going to go ahead and select our newly created pattern here and then we have another color fill layer here at the bottom. To access these adjustment layers you can go to this icon here and you can select solid color adjustment layer or the pattern color adjustment layer here. And with this layer I have created a clipping mask. If you go Option click for Mac users that will release it and then option click again creates that clipping mask there. With this pattern fill selected, I'm going to go ahead and double click and then I'm going to scale it down. Let's go ahead and try 50. Um, let's actually bring it to 25% to bring it even smaller here. With this dialog box open, you always have the option to uh, move your pattern around if you want it positioned differently on the canvas. To get back to the original, just click on snap to origin there and then we'll click on OK. So my original pattern was a little bit large. So if I want to save my pattern at this scale, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on this white layer here. And then I'm going to add just to click to define this pattern again. 
and then we see our new swatch here we'll click on this pattern fill layer if I select that new swatch now it's a lot smaller so we'll jump it back up to a hundred percent and now we have a pattern swatch saved at the scale that we preferred so we'll bring on this back layer and then you can just easily change the colors here by selecting a new color do it for the background layer if you want more of a two-tone effect I will go ahead and bring it back to the white I like that there and then if you want to save this as digital scrapbook paper just go to file export export as in this menu here under format change it to a JPEG and then you can select the quality generally with digital scrapbook paper you want high quality so you can bring it all the way up um, when you do increase the quality, it does increase the file size, so just keep that in mind. And then scrolling down, I like to make sure Embed Color Profile is selected, and then you can just click to export your pattern here. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun uh, mermaid scale pattern in Adobe Photoshop. Again, if you want access to all the design files from my tutorials, then come join me on Patreon. When you sign up to be a patron, you'll get access to my Photoshop actions for pattern design. In addition, you'll be able to access all the design files for all of my tutorials from YouTube. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorial videos. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.